September 17th was the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Antietam, the bloodiest battle in American history. 23,000 men were killed, wounded, or went missing in a single day. Why was Antietam so deadly? Technological advances, foolish tactics, and bad decision-making. As in other Civil War battles, both the Union and Confederate forces arranged their infantry shoulder to shoulder in long parallel lines. This made sense when fighting with bayonets and muskets, which were accurate only at close range. But the Civil War ushered in rifling, the use of helical grooves in the barrel of a weapon to stabilize a bullet, which enabled soldiers to make an aim shot from a hundred or more yards away. Both armies also had infantry units backed by artillery batteries with three to six cannons that could be loaded with canisters filled with about 120 bullets, which made them like early prototype machine guns. At Antietam, Union forces outnumbered Confederate forces two to one, but Union General George McClellan blundered by sending weaker units to flank the enemy. And McClellan was stationed so far away he wasn't able to react to the flanking failures and send reinforcements. Meanwhile, Union General Ambrose Burnside sent a line of troops across a narrow bridge that led to Steep Hill where Confederate riflemen were dug in. Though outnumbered, these riflemen held off the Union advance for four hours. Overall, the Confederates had more experience, better command, and a high proportion of artillery batteries to infantrymen, while the Union side had so many soldiers it could both absorb enormous losses and inflict huge casualties for hours and hours all of which turned Antietam into the deadliest day in the deadliest war in American military history.